Well, hello everyone. We have made it to Thursday. Welcome to this uh, today's uh, version of Daily Visit with God. I'm going to be reading out of Job chapter 17 and verse 3. The verse says this, Lay down now, put me in a surety with thee. Who is he that will strike hands with me? And I've entitled this lesson something like this. Uh, who will be my friend? Who is it that will strike hands with me? Who will be my friend? Though the, the passage uses terms that are um, thought to describe, you know, legal, um, the legal day, terms of, of Job's culture. Lay down describes putting on the table in earnest. Uh, surety is a reference to someone um, being a security, giving a security uh, deposit. Uh, striking hands would be shaking hands uh, as a sign of agreement, something like that. Uh, but I want to focus on this. Who will? Who is he that'll strike hands with me? And and I just kind of see it as a, you know, on on several different levels. Who who will stand with me in my time of trouble? Uh, who will greet me and be kind? Who who will be that person who will just be my friend? Who will who will welcome me as as a friend? You know, the ultimate answer to these questions and the one I believe that the Scripture intends to direct us to is that it is Jesus. He's our friend that sticketh closer than a brother. He is our advocate and um, and the friend like no other. When 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 others fail, Jesus will be there. When when Paul confessed that no man stood with him, he still uh, joyfully could say that the Lord stood with him. Uh, Jesus promised to be with us always and, and even unto the end of the world. And perhaps Every Christian's got to go through an experience sometime in their life like Job where, or like Paul or, or like the Lord Jesus Christ where though forsaken of men, um, we can rest in our relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. But isn't there a lesson here for the compassionate Christian as well? Um, knowing that everyone goes through times of affliction and trouble, times when we feel like we've been forsaken, knowing that everyone goes through times like that, can't some of us choose to take up the poor man's cause? To Isn't there someone who will choose to, to um, uh, shake the hand of a of a of someone who's fallen, take their hand and and welcome them as a friend? We uh, will have plenty uh, who chide us and judge us and maybe even rightly correct us, but won't somebody just be a friend?